So we're going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to go over the basics of how we move the accounts, um, some of the additional services, the white glove approach that we do offer. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that. So I'm going to log in with our test account here. Zix does prefer the method of the two-factor authentication. So you're, you're seeing me do that in real time here. Um, I'm actually doing it through the Google Authenticator behind the scenes here. Um, there are multiple ways, of course, to do that. But obviously, for security purposes, that's extremely important. Now, logging into the account, you're going to see quite a bit of things here going on. Now, obviously, our demonstration account has all the other products turned on, the email threat protection, secure file sharing, the archiving. Obviously, we're focused on here on the email encryption. If you do have additional interest on in some of those products, certainly reach out to your account manager. We do offer full walkthroughs. You can certainly get that scheduled with our engineering team. So today, let's actually talk about you know what it takes to get moved over into this product and how we handle that. So we're going to go to the account management tab. We're going to go to the system setup tab. And this is all going to be the steps to actually set up and configure your Zix account. Now, it's important to note right now at Excel Micro, we're offering a white glove approach. If you approach your account manager, You'll then be provided with a link that you can set up with our engineering team. You'll actually get our uh, Zix admins on the phone. You'll get myself. You'll also get our sales engineer over here at Excel Micro. And we'll actually go through these steps step by step with you. Um, we're going to be able to offer that up to a certain point. So I'm hoping to offer that for the next couple months as it gets obviously down towards the end. Availability of those white glove uh, sessions are going to disappear. So it is important to note you can do this yourself as well. So what we recommend, especially if you're approaching and you want to do the white glove service, basically schedule with your account manager as soon as possible and get that get that scheduled uh, with our engineering team. Now, before you would get on that call, we would ask you to do one thing ahead of time, and that would be the domain ver uh, verification. This can take up to 24 hours with some providers, depending on how your DNS is hosted and who you're hosted with. Um, we found that most of the time, about 85% of the time, with doing quite a few of these hands-on ones, that it falls more on the 24-hour category than it does almost instantly. There are a few vendors that will change it almost instantly, um, but this will allow us to complete the process. So this is the only kind of step we say, hey, we ask you to do yourselves, make sure you get that domain val verification done. And it's simply done by placing a tax record uh, on your DNS host to validate that you own your domain. You can see we, get, we have our two test uh, accounts and you can see that tax record has been verified in our demonstration. The steps that we actually walk you through, um, now keep in mind, you will need uh, the requirements before getting on that, that, that call with us is you'll need full DNS access to be able to access your domain settings. Um, and you'll also need access to whoever you are uh, hosting your email through. Could be Office 365, could be Google, could be your on-premise mail server, a lot of different variations, but you do need a full administrative access for those to be able to process through this. Um, if you're not the person that does that, you can certainly feel free to bring that person on the call with you. We do, uh, you know, bring your administrator on with you, no problem. So the steps here, obviously we're gonna ask you to change your SPF records. Um, this is obviously gonna help you authorize uh, the hosted mail service uh, going through um, to set up the encryption and the outbound uh, protection. Then we're gonna ask you to address the trusted outbound mail service. And, but basically what you're doing here, this identifies the mail servers will be sending outbound mail on your side. Outbound relay, this step here, relatively easy again. Step allows another email service to receive the email uh, by modifying your outbound relay settings. So we'll provide the, the, the IPs here and you'll be able to do that. And also you'll get the individual settings by clicking on each of these, you can drill down. Now, with this particular setting, if you're running Office 365 or if you're running Google Apps, you won't have to do anything. If you say using an on-prem, you check this box, you'll be able to put the appropriate IPs for your on-premise mail server. Configuring your TLS, very simple. Um, the latest version of TLS is 1.2. Um, if you're, again, running Office 365, you're running uh, Google, not a worried about step. Most on-premise mail servers, as long as they're up to date, will support TLS 1.2. TLS 1.0 and 1.1 are not supported in this particular configuration, and that's what this step is just confirming. 
Step six, this is an interesting one, and this one's very cool. This is the, the portal configuration. Now, in the past, when you were purchasing the Zix Gateway from Excel Micro, you had to pay additional for branding on your portal. And what that means is standard when you purchase the product from us, when somebody receives an email, it'll say powered by Zix, just the generic Zix logo. And that's perfectly fine. Some businesses want it to be powered by, say it's a bank, you know, powered by XYZ bank or it's a candy shop powered by XYZ candy shop. On the old service on Gateway, you had to pay additional service fee. You know, it could be couple thousand dollars a year to add that additional service fee. The cloud service does not require that additional purchase of the branding. So if you want to do that, that is included with the stock standard product now. That's what the portal configuration is there. It's going to ask you two things. Um, what you want it to look like in the custom URL that your end users will receive, and also what it, what you would like it to say at the bottom. Now you can still standard have it say powered by Zix, or you can have it say powered by XYZ Bank certainly your choice but that is included with the product this is where you can figure your smart host this is where that basically the step where you basically commit to making the move you're basically telling your mail server hey i don't want to point at the old gateway servers i, I now want to point at the cloud version now i'm going to stop here at this step and just let everybody know if you follow through these steps whether you do it with the white glove service or you do it yourself um this is a seamless process, which means you can do it at any point. And as long as you follow through on these steps and just don't stop at a random step anymore, it's not required. You're not gonna have any downtime from your end user's perspective. So that's a very important note. Now, just so you know, this step eight here with the DCM um, is not a standard step that is required. This is here because of the additional services. So we can go ahead and skip that step. Trusted IPs. This can be added. This is um, if, you, if you are utilizing a different service other than email security, what you'll do is you'll go into your email security product. And you'll add these to allow the Zix to come through. Again, archiving configuration, you can currently ignore because that's what if you had that servicing. You could also ignore setting up the archive journaling configuration for now. The last step here, this is the encryption and routing policies. Now, the really nice thing about this is Zix provides you a worksheet. We also will provide you, if you do the white glove approach, we will, our Zix admins will log into the Zix gateway and tell you exactly what policies are in place. And we'll help you replicate that. So you have a keyword in place, as you see here, you could do custom ones and we'll help you match it up. There's also the custom filters. So if you're in the financial healthcare industries, each of these will pop up and have their subcategories as well. And we will help you match this one-on-one. -on -one. If you do decide to do this on your own, which is certainly possible and no issue with that, um, we can provide that as well. So if you reach out to us, create a ticket, we can provide you exactly what you had on your Zix Gateway server. You could choose your method to allow TLS or not. Now, what this really means is if the person that is sending the message from an encrypted source, in this case, coming from your company, going outbound through Zix, will deliver if they can establish a standard TLS 1.2 connection. Most of the time, this will work on corporate uh, Google, Google Workspace accounts. This will work on Office 365 accounts. And of course, if the Exchange or on-premise mail server is updated to 1.2, this will go right through. They won't have to open up a portal. They won't have to put special things in there in order to be able to access it. They won't have to set that username and password up. Some companies allow for this. Some companies do not. We can certainly tell you what you had on our old existing game way but you can certainly make a decision how to handle that the nice thing is if you do allow for that it'll be delivered like a standard message and just have the banner at the bottom powered by zix or if you have a custom branded powered by xyz once you hit the save on that that'll automatically create all the policies on the back end for you and then you've successfully set up the new zix cloud product and you're ready to move on now a couple other important steps that you do need to do not contained within the console here. If you've done that white glove service with us, we will certainly remind you of this, but if you're doing it on your own, it's also very important to note, once you've completed this whole process, confirm that your emails are now coming through the new uh, Zix Cloud encryption. You definitely wanna make sure that you reach out to our billing team at Excel Micro so they can cancel the old Zix gateway services. Very, very, very important. Um, you can certainly reach out to your account manager to get that taken care of as well, but it is important to let us know that. That way you do not get double billed for Zix Gateway and the Zix Cloud encryption. 
building will go in, remove the gateway requirement, and then you'll just directly be billed for the six cloud encryption going forward. Now, we've done quite a few of the white glove services, um, and I can tell you about 99% of the time, it goes extremely smooth. In those 1% of circumstances that we have encountered an error, uh, our relationship with Zix is extremely high. Uh, we've been able on those calls to reach out to Zix and get those situations resolved almost instantly uh, or within a very short amount of time. Uh, so that's another good advertisement to, to definitely get your process set up sooner than later and definitely get that white glove service. If you do do it on your own, you can certainly feel free and you do run into a snag during the process. Our support teams are available Monday through Friday, eight to eight, reach out to us. We'll get it squared away as fast as humanly possible to us. Um, if you can wait 24 hours, you can send an email. If you need help right away during that time frame, just feel free to call into Excel Micro and we'll certainly help you with that. If you have any additional questions, certainly reach out to your account manager. Um, we can get you certain, certain individual um, technical details that may not be something we would delve deep into on, on a call like this. Um, the account manager can read out to our engineering team and we can certainly get those answers for you. Um, but I would, I would recommend not waiting too much longer. Definitely scheduled white glove service. That way we can walk you through the process together. Just the, the one we walked through today.